shellfish allergy is, is essentially an allergic reaction to shellfish species. Most often um, it's in reaction to prawn. Um, it will start by uh, discomfort and it can evolve into anaphylactic shock where you start to develop a life-threatening condition. It's absolutely very serious. Traditionally, it was believed that prawn were the um, food type that was initiating the allergic reaction for shellfish. The critical discovery that we've made is that uh, mollusks can be the primary sensitizer and that first uh, food type that you will be responding to. Abalone, oysters, and even their distant cousins like squid, octopus, were as able uh, to induce an, an allergic reaction. Now that means that mollusks, they need to be incorporated into the diagnosis uh, of food allergy and shellfish in particular. There's another distant cousin that is associated to crustaceans and mollusks, and these are house dust mites. And also in the same family, you will have spiders and scorpions. So that means that potentially someone who's allergic and sensitized to prawn or mollusk could also develop later on allergy to house dust mite and potentially in contact with spiders, especially in Australia. Uh, we're hoping that this will lead to more effective treatments because this is unraveling all these new potential targets. The other factor um, that this is going to be contributing to is diagnostic tools, um, and in particular with that particular protein that um, is very difficult to uh, source commercially and to incorporate into those diagnoses. Um, we ha are also now able to purify it and provide it uh, for these uh, purposes. It's all about awareness. It's about knowing all the other food types that are potentially associated to the one food type you know you're allergic to and try to avoid or minimize them as, as much as possible. If you have a family history of food allergy and you have a young child, you may want to uh, monitor the symptoms very closely the first time that they consume a prawn, abalone or even uh, calamari is a very common one for children.